could have been worse. They could have called us and said that our home burned down. But it's still a bad situation to be in, and it's a terrible phone call to receive on Christmas Eve. And talk about terrible timing. A family told their apartment in High Point flooded while they were 630 miles away in Florida for the holidays. And as of tonight, they're yet to come back because their place is still soaked. Good evening. Welcome to the Fox 8 6 o'clock news. I'm Michael Hennessy. And I'm Madison Forsey. Pipe issues have caused these problems in homes and businesses for days here. Fox 8's Aaliyah Sims is outside the Laurel Springs apartment in High Point. And Aaliyah, you've learned pipes broke in four different buildings there leaving 14 renters with damage. And the most frustrating part about this all is that the property management is not responsible to do much to help people through this. I spoke to attorneys today who say what happened here is an act of God. Now they say that it releases the management of a lot of liability, something that upsets Kishana Codwell Hines, who has a five-year-old daughter. It's not the way that we left it and it's not fair. Soaked carpets and wet kitchen floors. The foot imprints around Kishana Codwell Hines' apartment at the Laurel Springs apartment show just how much water got into her unit. They told us that they had to kick down the door. Um, they said initially that it was one sprinkler system that burst and it triggered all the others, which caused all of them to go off and our home was flooded um, ultimately. She's been dealing with the cleanup from Florida where she has been with family for 12 days, well before our temperatures dropped and people were told to leave their faucets dripping and their heat at 68 degrees. We spoke with the community director to say, hey, if we were to have left our faucets dripping, would, would this have prevented this situation from happening? And she said, unfortunately, this is just one of those things, even if we did leave the faucet dripping, it still would have happened because it wasn't something that happened um, with the pipe specifically, it was the sprinkler system. There is also damage you can't see right now. The sheetrock is damaged. You know, we have to knock out the wall. They did. She did tell me that they weren't replacing the carpet because that's just not one of the major things that they do, which is crazy to me because I'm just like, okay, you extracted the water. Yes, but it was so much water, the carpet was saturated. It's going to mold over time. Kishana worries about the health hazard it could create for her five-year-old fiance and herself. It's an apartment and, you know, we don't own it, but it's the place that we were able to call home for three years. So it's just, you know, it's, it's unsettling to know that now, for one, we don't have a place that's safe for our, our daughter to lay her head. Legally, the property management does not have to replace the flooring. They have brought in professionals to perform emergency water extractions and place fans and dehumidifiers in the 14 units with flooding. Regardless, you know, there's water damage in her room, so that's that's no longer safe for her to live in there. Um, and it's just, it's not, it's not suitable for our family at all. Crews plan to make drywall repairs, paint, and then reevaluate if new carpet is needed. Kishana plans to do her own inspecting when she gets home. This is the first major disaster that I've ever experienced in my 24 years of living. So mm -hmm. that's why it was, it was, you know, very hard for us to figure out what our next steps would be because neither one of us knew, you know, what are we supposed to do? Now, the family will spend a few days in a hotel and then move in with relative. Now, one thing you should know is renters, if you find yourself in a similar situation, according to a tenant attorney with Daggett Law Firm, the landlord is responsible for fixing the situation, not paying for a place for you to stay, whether it be a new unit or a hotel. Live in High Point, Aaliyah Sims, Box 8 News.